check. Great. Hey guys, it's Deepika, and I hope you had an amazing, amazing May. That means that it is officially summer. It is hot, and it is extra hot here in Texas, which is where I am for the next couple of weeks. I have gathered today some of my favorite products that I've been playing with recently, and to be honest, this month is not very specifically focused on products meant for summer necessarily, mainly because I am in Texas, and so a lot of those products are in New York, so I will make sure that June, July is more focused focus specifically on things that are great for summer, aka sweat proof stuff. But right now, we're gonna get into some products that I've just been testing out, using for a while, that I just wanted to share with you and tell you why I love them. And I also have a couple products, not many, that I did not like this month that I tested out that I wanna make sure to tell you guys about too. So, let's get started. First and foremost, I wanna talk to you guys about the Tarte Shape Tape because I know you guys have seen me use these babies a lot, but I just, the difference is that I just tried tan sand, and I've always been using tan because they originally came out with, I think, five or six shades, and tan sand wasn't an option, but I wanted to know if tan sand would be better for my skin tone versus tan because I know a lot of people with my skin tone think that um, tan is a little too light for them underneath the eye. So, try it out tan sand. First and foremost, Tarte Shape Tape is a heavy coverage concealer. It's one that like, honestly, I don't need to color correct much when I use it because it is such heavy coverage. It's like that, it's, it's thicker in consistency. It's very much like Instagram makeup. Um, but it's great if you have dark circles because it really does kind of get that coverage taken care of. For me personally, I do not wrinkle when I use this. Other people have said otherwise. Um, but I wanted to show you guys what one looks like versus the other. For me, this is a little, this has a little more of a peach to it and this has a little bit more of um, a neutralness to it um, and so when I put tan sand on one eye and then tan on the other the reality is to me personally I could use either or it just depends on how bright of an under eye I like tan sand is more of the exact color and tan is a little bit lighter but I kind of sometimes like that look if I blend it in properly to really brighten underneath my eyes so I just wanted to share that with you guys so you can kind of compare where your skin tone is and what you think would be right for you. Um, but in general, Tarte Shape Tape is definitely in my top five favorite concealers for a full coverage face. Moving right along, another thing that I discovered recently when I was doing tutorials at home, I went to the drugstore and wanted to do a drugstore only tutorial, so I went and bought this um, NYX Wonder Stick. And this one actually had Shayla's face on it, so I was like, oh, then it's, I mean, I was assuming we have similar-ish skin tone colors. Um, and I tried it out, and it's great. And so a few reasons I wanna tell you why I love it. Again, you guys know I love stick products, and so it's really easy to draw on the contour lines of where you want to contour your face. And then the actual other side of it that's meant to highlight um, works really well with my skin tone as well. So I think that this is a really affordable way to contour um, for somebody who is on the go, AKA me. One other palette, I don't think I've put it in my monthly favorites, and if I have, then sorry, I'm doing it twice, is um, the It Cosmetic Sculpting Powder. Um, I wanted to talk about this for people who want more of a powder contour and creams freak them out. This is my absolute favorite one right now, but it has all the right shades for me, including the right highlighting shades and setting on my face. Really great all-in-one contouring palette. Next one is a little random, but I've been using it a lot, and I think that everyone needs it in their life, honestly. It's this Dove deodorant. Well, I guess it's called a Dry Spray Invisible Antiperspirant. I don't know why I ever, ever used stick deodorants before, like did this not exist before? Maybe it didn't exist, but it smells great. Put it on right now. Never have to worry about white marks on my clothes. And it says no white marks on 100 colors. I mean, I don't know if that's true or not, but I know that like it's so nice when I'm putting on a black dress, I don't have to worry about like, oh no, am I gonna get like a mark on my outfit? It smells great and I actually really don't sweat. It says 48 hour antiperspirant. Um, I mean, I don't know if that fact is true or not, but I haven't gone back to a stick in months since I've started using this. Next one I wanna to talk to you guys about eyeshadow, which you guys know that I'm not really somebody who talks about eyeshadows or cares to do eyeshadows because I, I really feel like ain't nobody got the time. So that's why whenever I do eyeshadows, it's usually just like one stick over my entire eyelid. However, if I were to invest in an eyeshadow palette, this one from Jouer Cosmetics is really, really dope. I first got it in spring. Um, what are they calling it? It is their Springtime in Paris Matte and Shimmer Eyeshadow Palette. I kind of think it's just like a staple all through summer, also, 
The range of shades are so beautiful. There's mattes and shimmers inside of this. The look that I have on today is kind of sim simple because I'm going to brunch directly after this, but they have really beautiful colors. The pigments are really beautiful for um, people with darker skin tones, as you can see. Come on, focus! You would think I'd have autofocus by now. I know, it's embarrassing, sorry guys. But look how beautiful those pigments are of all the different shades. This is just asking for disaster, I need to wipe them off, okay. My Neutrogena wipe, which you guys have heard I love so much too. Um, I'm really appreciative of this palette because it has pigments that are good for women of color, but I think it's great for people of all different skin tones, which is why I love it. It is like, you know, a lot of people start with their eye makeup because the powder kind of comes off. Yeah, it does do that. I do think that it does kind of fall off onto the bottom of my eye, but the reason I love it is because of the range of colors and the range of consistency. Okay, another thing I want to share with you guys because I was very skeptical about whether I would like it is this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer, and this is the shade Luminous Bronze Light. So at first I was like, the idea of a bronzer that is shimmery kind of felt like an oxymoron to me. I didn't really get it. Um, but I kind of was like, well, you know what? It's summertime, so what if I just want to do an all over glow? I don't really want to have to deal with bronzing, blush, and highlight. This product, this, this product kind of like serves as all three in one. If you're one of those people who's just like, again, I feel like it's great for somebody who's on the go, really wants something that's done and done and hit, and then they can just keep going on with their day. I take this ambient bronzer, put it all over my face, specifically focus it on my cheekbone area because to give it that little depth of bronze. You really can see that the product has like a highlight, a blush, and a bronzer in it. So it's all mixed together in a really pretty beautiful formula that you can just like put all over your face. Of course I have to talk about a lip because I'm always discovering new lips that I love. And I've talked about this before, but this is the Milani Amour Matte Lip Cream. When I first got this I was excited because it was a nude color and I love the color, how it looks on my skin tone. But I thought it was gonna be a gloss, but it's it's essentially a liquid lipstick. It's uh, Milani's version of a liquid lipstick. I think everyone's always looking and discovering new nudes that they love. You know, I just did my KKW review and I have a whole video on my top 10 nude lipsticks, but these aren't, neither of these are in it, so I wanted to show you guys. Um, the Smashbox Always On Stepping Out is my go-to day-to-day. It's less drying than this Milani one, but I wanted to show you both a drugstore option and a, a little more expensive one. Um, this is the one that you guys consistently see me wearing on like social media and stuff. It's like my go-to because it's more comfortable on the lips. It doesn't feel as drying as this Milani one, um, but this is a um, more affordable option. Moving on to two products this month that I did not love so much. I wanna start with this one from NYX Cosmetics and it is their um, retractable eyeliner. Uh, do, 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 crayon. So I feel like it's really easy to go and get colored liners from the drugstore because you're like, oh well, how often am I really gonna use like an aqua liner? So um, that's that was my mindset. It's waterproof, it was the right color I was looking for for my Deepika Padukone tutorial, but it literally broke off like 14 times while I was filming it, you guys. And I was like, this is too, this just felt too cheap. It felt too cheapy. It was like, every time I was drawing it on my eye, it would crack, crack, crack. So I was like, okay, that's next level. Um, unless the color was like super beautiful there's and, and really unique, there's really no reason to invest in a expensive liner color because how often are you really using it? If you do do that, don't get this next one because it was, yeah. This product is this one from Lancome and it is their, their like version of metallic lip colors. Um, it's, I just wanted to talk to show you guys um, a little bit more. This is just happens to be the color that I brought home, but the idea, you know, I will say, props to Lancome for trying to go out of their comfort zone and doing something that is out of the norm. And you know, right now all the rage was metallic colors, so they did a whole range of like golds and rose golds and blues, and I thought the concept and idea was really awesome. But the actual formula itself is like super sticky. I like, I'm not even gonna put it on my lips because, um, well, I gotta go somewhere after this and it's not the best formula. Oh, I just, I think that there's other people who have done metallic lips better. Personally, was not a fan. All right, so those are my May favorites and unfavorites. I hope you guys like this video. Be sure to comment down below what your favorite product discovery was this month. I love, love hearing it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Again, I am very close to 100K and I would love your support and I will see you guys next time unless I am actually passed out from the Texas sun. It's just so hot. I sound like a brat. I know I grew up here my whole life, but it is hot. It's hot, all right? It's hot. Anyways, see you next time, guys. Bye.